I'm Sherlock Phantom One here, and welcome back. Today we are talking about vision boards. Now, here's a quick definition of what a vision board is, but if I get it totally wrong, I'll put the actual description. I'll actually put the real definition in the description. So basically a vision board for me, however, is like a board that you make all by yourself with a bunch of creativeness, and you put down a bunch of photos of goals that you have for the year or for things that you want to do, things that you want to see, places you want to go. So here's something that we're going to do that's a bit different. Instead of a yearly vision board, we're going to do a Disney themed vision board. First screen you see over here is me. The second screen you're going to see that I'm seeing is the canva.com. That will be linked in the description below how you guys can get there. All you got to do is set up an account. It's free. Check it out. It's awesome. That's where I make a lot of my stuff, like my thumbnails and my boards for past years and stuff like that. It's awesome. Do a phone wallpaper. You could do a Facebook post. You could do a letter kind of thing. But what we're going to go with today is a dashboard wallpaper. All the images that you can use. They have graphics. They have frames. They have borders. They have text. They have all kinds of cool stuff. So this will be less of me showing you how to do it and more of just doing it and talking a little bit while I do it. But also, here's a great tip. Anytime that you're doing something creative like this, it's going to take maybe an hour. We're not going to film for an hour. But if it takes about an hour or so, maybe put on some good ambiance music. I'll link some of my favorites in the description below or ones that are Disney themed. Maybe to get you in that mindset of something cool to kind of listen to while you're doing this. First things first, though, we have to pick a background color. So let's find something that's kind of colorful, but also kind of is something that screams Disney a little bit. I really like the colorful beads, but that might be a little too busy. How about a simple color that's kind of like a nice shade and it kind of pops everything else, but you don't want it to be too distracting from everything. Well, let's go with this for now. Okay, so now what you wanna do is go to your uploads. This is where you could upload photos from your actual computer or laptop or even your phone. So let's look at all the photos I have. Here are some different ones of Disneyland rides, goals I wanna do at Disney, like meeting a character, eating foods from Disney, certain things and events that I wanna attend when I go next time. So let's just start with something simple. Here's my first photo. I really want to, next time I go to Disney, is go on the Dumbo ride. That was one of the rides I really should have gone on, but it was rainy and it was terribly like, difficult to get around and that was like the third park we had hit on my vacation so unfortunately i didn't get to experience that we're gonna size this and cut out things that maybe we don't need kind of like extra spacing extra layout edit and things like that hit edit image and it'll actually give you frames that you can actually put on your photos already it's a light up like it's a blue but that doesn't contrast very well so let's go with like a bright yellow and so that's one of my goals is to get to go on the Dumbo ride. And there we go. There's one picture down. And if you want to even add some text in here, like what year you might be going to the Disney park, that could be fun. Maybe say that I want to go next year. So 2023. And we'll put that like right over here. And you can add little like shadows and stuff like that. You can add little shadow areas and you know, backdrops if you want, kind of like shadow the colors, add some like width to it, change the colors a little bit. That looks kind of good. You know, really change it up and kind of make it your own. So I'm going to work on this a little bit and I'll see you guys back in just a few minutes. And here we are with kind of the final touches. Here's kind of the final product a little bit. I'm still adding a couple things. Like I really want to try the food at Disney. Let's add in a fun little chicken leg kind of thing. Cause I've always kind of wanted to try some of the Mickey waffles and like a turkey leg there. Um, and then one other sticker that I think I might add is a magic carpet. That's not the magic carpet. This is my final vision board here. Um, actually, I'm going to walk you guys through really quick just the things that I had put on here as maybe inspiration for others. So here is one of them. I really want to meet a cast member dressed in a costume. I really would love to take a picture with them because of COVID last year, I couldn't do that. I would love to go on the Little Mermaid ride. I never really got to do that. 
there's a chicken wing because like I said, I want to try the food there. Peter Pan's flight. I never got to go on that. And that sounds kind of fun. Never was a big Peter Pan fan though. I would love to see a parade. I never got to see a parade. I did do stuff in Disney. I just, it was very rainy and pouring down at the time. So we only got to do a couple things. Didn't stay that late to see the actual fireworks show. So I'd love to, if I get to go back and do that. And finally, I'd love to go to one of their restaurants. Like I said, try the food, but also get to go and actually experience what the restaurants are like there. Your favorite ride, what was your favorite moment? Would you go back? And also, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome and have a great day, guys. I hope this was helpful. Let me know down in the comments below and have a great day. Bye, guys.